Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Christine. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about bras. These are five different bras that every single woman should own. I'm also going to be talking about which bras go with certain tops and necklines. So if you are interested, first make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the little notification bell so you don't miss on any of my videos. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. This dress is actually from Princess Polly and it is the freaking cutest. I'll go ahead and link it down in the description box. The first bra that I want to talk to you about is something that I wear the most often, especially in the summer, chicken cutlets. So these are actually from Amazon and they are just little pasties. Previously before I used these, I used the Hollywood Secrets one, which those ones I really, really love. And they're a little bit thicker than these ones are. Sometimes when I wear these, if I wear like a thinner white top, you can actually see my nibbles. So keep that in mind. If you want something that is a little bit more thicker and gives you a little bit more coverage under tops, I would go with the Hollywood Secrets. This gives you a little bit more coverage than just going straight up braless and these are great under tops like halter neck tops or even like those peasant neck tops that I really really like okay so here's a prime example this top is from Princess Polly and it's super super cute but the way that the cutouts are situated there's just no way that you can wear a standard bra underneath this without you being able to see it so when I wear a top like this I want to go with pasties and that way I just don't have to worry about any of my straps showing so I'm gonna go ahead and put these on and show you what they look like on Okay, so we have the pasties on and as you can see, there's no straps or anything. If I wanted to wear it a little bit lower, I totally could. So it just gives me that freedom to wear my tops however I like. It gives me enough coverage and it's also very, very comfortable. If I'm wearing something that is backless, I can also just wear chicken cutlets because it's perfect. It has you covered in the front and then you just don't have to worry about any of the straps showing or anything like that. And they're also really great for halter tops because they kind of have a lower back and that way you just have like the seamless back. I don't like to have any types of strap showing. The next bra that I want to talk about is actually a convertible bra. This is just like any of those bras that have these types of hooks in the front and the back and it just allows you to adjust it and make it into a cross rack, a normal bra, a strapless if you wanted. My favorite thing to do to turn these into the most comfortable strapless bra that will stay up no matter what is to take one of the straps and loop it from one side to the other side. This is the front of the bra and so normally you have one of the straps here and then one of the straps on the side. So I actually take one strap and I loop it from one of the back sides and loop it to the other back side if that makes sense. You have one strap going across. It's great because when you put it on, I'll go ahead and show you on top. You just take this strap and you actually just put it right here. And it gives you just a little bit more stability and helps to hold the strapless bra up all day. That way when you're going about in your day looking cute and all that, you don't have to worry about constantly pulling it up all the time. I just find that this strap just really helps to secure the bra. And so this is what it looks like in the back. Now, I've worn my bras like this in a couple of my lookbooks and I always get questions, what bra are you wearing? This is just my favorite hack to do. Every time I have a strapless bra on, I always have this one strap going across to help hold it up. And I actually don't even buy traditional strapless bras anymore. I always buy these convertible bras and just do my one strap hack and that way I just get the most comfortable strapless bra that stays up all day. Strapless bras are great if you're wearing tube tops, if you're wearing any type of top that has like thin straps and you don't want any of the straps showing, even if you're wearing like a cross back top, you can even wear it with a halter top too. So anytime you don't want any straps here is when I would wear a strapless bra. And so strapless bras and pasties are interchangeable. You can use either. It just depends on what you're most comfortable with. Another strapless bra that I really like, oh, did I mention? This one is actually from Victoria's Secret and I think Victoria's Secret makes really great bras. I've always purchased my bras there and they always have great sales all the time as well. And this one that I have right now is a convertible push-up, but I also have another one that I really like and this one is from Calvin Klein. I picked this up from Nordstrom Rack and if you guys are looking for a good affordable option, Nordstrom Rack has really great deals on bras all the time. So I'd highly recommend going there if you guys are looking for a new bra. But this one here is also a convertible bra. I believe this was actually just a strapless bra and it came with additional straps. And so I have the one strap going across just like that. So this one is really comfortable. I also love that it has like kind of a elastic lining to help 
keep holds it up. So I have my black Calvin Klein strapless bra underneath this and as you can see it is just perfect. It gives me the coverage and a little bit of lift as well but at the same time you don't have to worry about any straps being seen and it just gives you like a really seamless look which I really really love. I also love strapless bras for a top like this and this is my Aritzia top that I talked about in my essentials video. So underneath this top from Aritzia I have my strapless bra and I just think it looks perfect and that way it just looks really really clean you don't have to worry about any straps showing sometimes when i wear normal bras underneath this you kind of have to worry about like tucking the straps and sometimes the top moves around and you can see the straps i just don't like that so i always wear a strapless bra or pasties and so i just think that that gives me a really good seamless look the next bra that i want to talk about is just a cutie normal strap bra this is nothing crazy just your average bra and this one is just a really cute lace one from Victoria's Secret. I like this one because it is kind of a lower cup so it's really great if you're going out or if you're wearing a lower cut top. These are better if you have kind of a scoop neckline. If you have something more of a deep V, some of this might show and I would actually just go for pasties instead. But if you have any regular scoop neck top or if you're going out and you're wearing like a tight bodysuit or something like this, I think this is something really great to wear underneath because it gives you the coverage, it gives you the lift. We also have a good nude one here as well. This one also is from Victoria's Secret. Oh, I think these are called demi bras. Is that right? Demi bras? This doesn't give you any type of lift or push up at all. This is just your average demi bra. This is something that you want to wear under scoop neck tops or if you're wearing a t-shirt and you don't really want any of that like gappage to show. Okay, so I have that pink lace bra underneath this. I like it because it kind of gives you that like low plunge. At the same time, it keeps you covered. It's a good nude color so you won't see it underneath whatever top you're wearing. Another bra that I didn't really talk about earlier is a good push-up bra. I think push-up bras are great if you're going out, if you're wearing a low cut top. If you just want to kind of enhance this area, you know what I mean? I think a good push-up bra is very important between Demi bras and push ups, I normally reach for my demi bras, and those are just like kind of tops that are really good for low cut tops and stuff like that, but they don't really give you a lot of push up like a push up bra does. If you want a really good push up bra, this one from Aerie is one of my favorites, and this one is actually a really great twofer because it actually crosses in the back. This one just makes my bobs look so good. This bra is also really great because I think a cross back bra is also a very big necessity. If you're wearing something like where it's almost like a racer back in the back, you want to wear something that is a cross back bra so that way you don't have to worry about your strap showing right here. It just looks a little bit messy to me. I just prefer to have everything tucked away and unseen. I love this airy bra for something like that. This one is a cross back bra, so it's great if I want to wear it with a racer back or I just want to wear something that is a little bit more kind of a like closer cut where like a standard bra strap would show. This bra is also really great because it has a lot of cushioning so it gives me a really nice lift and push up. So underneath the top like this, a racer back or cross back bra is perfect because you don't have to worry about the strap showing right here and it just gives you that really clean look and the straps are just like right here so it's still very comfortable. It's not like a strapless bra where sometimes you have to worry about falling down or whatever. I think a racer back bra or a cross back bra just gives you that extra security and especially when you don't have to wear a strapless bra, I just prefer these types of bras. They're a little bit more comfortable and it gives you that like strap free look. Finally, the last bra that I want to talk about is a good t-shirt bra and these are bras that you wear underneath any type of t-shirt any top that has a little bit more coverage up here and you just want something that won't give you that like cup outline these ones by jockey are really really great you can find them at Nordstrom, fred meyer any type of department store these are just really great because they are so comfortable like when i'm at home and i'm chilling I'm wearing these tops most of the time. It gives you that coverage. You don't have any of that cup outline showing and they're just so, so comfortable. You can wear them under like most tops. I actually know some girls that like chill at home in their sports bras, but this is great because it's actually a little bit looser than a sports bra. That way you feel like your top tops can breathe a little bit more. You don't have to worry about them feeling so like squeezed and all the time, you know what I mean? Another one that I really like is this one from True Co. Actually, no, this one is from Uniqlo, and I actually really, really love this. I think True Co. also makes a really great one, and 
It's made out of this like laser cut material that is super comfortable. You don't see any lines or anything like that. So I really love this one. I actually like the True & Co ones a little bit more than these Uniqlo ones. This one is my True & Co one and this one I actually like more than the Uniqlo because it's a little bit softer and the cut is just a little bit more practical. But if you don't want to spend $40 to $50 on a t-shirt bra like this, I think definitely go with the Uniqlo one. So that is the end of today's video. I hope you all enjoyed and found this video helpful. I did get so many DMs and a request from you guys on Instagram that wanted to see a wedding guest lookbook, my favorite dresses, and just like a kind of outfit ideas lookbook. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up before you go and leave me a comment down below if you have any other recommendations that you want to see next from me, any type of lookbook ideas or styling videos. Let me know because I listen and be sure to check out these videos here before you go. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.